the pouring rain And no matter what we go through Love will still remain So do what you want, baby You and me in the sun Know that I still be myself to do stuff like this but this is how I see the change I want to see in my body um, getting up early getting my cardio in on top of clean eating so I'm gonna get up um, I'm gonna get up and wrap my body um, I use um, sweet sweat and uh, saran wrap, and then I got this um, this waist trimmer that I, I actually just got this new waist trim waist trimmer in the mail. So I'm gonna use this waist trimmer for the first time and uh, keep me running in. And uh, I'm going outside today. I like going to the gym to get my workout in the gym. But I'm going to run outside today and uh, try to give it a good two miles in. So I'll do the little waist trip, the waist thing for y'all so y'all can see how that goes. So I am going to first apply the sweet sweat. This right is like kind of a roll on, they got different kinds. And I actually like the smell of it. It's just like uh, coconut. So one thing that I'm gonna talk about also when I'm putting this on. So today is the first of November, and I'm going to be participating in in um, No Nut November. If you don't know what that is referring to, ouch. Um, just drop my coconut, not uh, coconut, but, but shea butter on my foot. Uh, no nut November is no masturbating, no sex for the entire month of November. And this is the time to use that energy that you're using to have sex and masturbate and put it towards more um, more important things in life. So, if you're watching this video and you want to participate in it also, by all means, join me in No Nut November. around a few times. I was giving my magic number of seven. Just because seven means complete. And I don't even remember how many times I've been doing it so far because I was talking. But I'm going to go around one. How many times I thought it was seven. typically I can try to do seven times. And this is the new um, the new uh, waist trimmer that I got. This is actually this, this one right here is actually um, too big for me because I'm already on the last loop, so I'm, I'm ordering a smaller one. So this is the new, 
And this is actually the second one that I ordered because I was assuming that I was bigger. So I got an extra L, extra, extra large. And then I went back and ordered the large and this large is actually too big also. So I'm gonna go back and get a medium. So I guess I'm slimming down or I'm, I've never, I was never as big as I thought I was. Two miles at least to my two miles and I'll um, document it afterwards so y'all can see me taking all this stuff off and let me get this run it's still dark outside so that's why I'm under this, under this um, light to film this video so I'll let y'all later I'm going down and going down in size but I also have to get used to um, because while it is still big on me it fits tighter than the one that I'm used to running with so I'm gonna order a small one because of course I want it to be as tight as possible but in the meantime it is very important for me to get used to running feeling more for more uh, constricted because while it is loose and I'm on the last loop uh, I can definitely tell in my run that I'm not being able to uh, breathe in and get air as much as I usually would without a waistband like this. But I did it. I made it. As you see, I'm really sweaty and I only did like 2.15 miles. <sighs> So the run wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. Um, let's see. I want to get all of this. I'm trying to get used to this whole filming. dripping down. Whew. That's a relief to get this off. Just see. It's good to breathe. But, as you see, I sweat it. Oh, with my core, which is what I want. And that is my morning cardio.